Welcome back to the Whiskey's Grill and Bar post game show. We're here with the Marshfield Clinic player of the night and starting pitcher Devin Moore at Indiana State. Seven innings, six hits, two runs. You didn't walk a batter and you struck out five, Devin. And let's start first with how's it feel to get your second win of the season and how'd you feel out there on the mound tonight? Felt great and I felt great. It was a pretty easy game, honestly, and I made it easy by getting ahead and that's, that's the key. But yeah, it was, it was nice and it, you know, hopefully I can build off of this and keep the rhythm going. Your last start was here at Carson Park on July 4th, and you had a lot of maybe these fans still left here tonight, saw you go four and a third. You got knocked around for 11 hits, seven earned runs. You also walked five. What was the major difference between your last start on the 4th of July and tonight? I was getting ahead. I mean, it was very frustrating uh, last week coming off of that start. You know, you just – you knew you didn't pitch well, and, and – so the preparation for this week was to, you know, get back to the basics and start throwing strike one, and uh, and I did that, and you know, just made it a lot easier. And um, yeah, and then and then after strike one, it was you know a strike two, strike three, you know, it was it was you know pretty easy, and that's what it is when you get ahead. I mean, it seemed like your all speed stuff was certainly on. You talk about throwing strike one, a lot of those it looked like came on change ups. At least if you're looking at the radar gun, was there a thought behind throwing? It looked like you threw more change-ups than you had in the past, whether it be out of the bullpen or in your two other starts this season. Was there a reasoning behind that coming into the start at all? You know, Will just, <clears throat> Will believed in it, and we uh, we just kept calling it. But um, it was also one of those things is when I get guys on, you know, I'm kind of looking for that change-up to get me out with a double play, and, and I did get a few of those tonight. But, uh, yeah, change-up, you know, right away, if, if you feel good with it, then go ahead and throw it because you can – you can throw it for, you know, not a strike, but hitters still swing at it. So it's a it's a good pitch if it's on and if you're getting ahead, um, then, you know, you, you have those batters that swing and miss at them. Here with Devin Morrow, Marshfield Clinic Player of the Night. And, Devin, you gave up your only two runs in the top of the fifth inning to the Rafters, and one of those was on an error by the second baseman, uh, Tim Zier. Your defense played well behind you all night. However, other than that, one miscue there, but it seemed like you were a little fired up after that error, and you were pacing a couple of times um, when you hit Brandon Hall, uh, one opportunity that you had. Were you just so in the zone that you really get upset um, during those you know, happenings during the game? Is that something that you're just so in the zone that reactions just happen? Yeah, you, you definitely get frustrated and you get upset. Uh, Tim, Tim played great behind me again, and I'll always have him as my second baseman. That's fine with me. You know, that was a hard hit ball. So I definitely defend Tim. Uh, you know, he played great. Um, it, it's one of those things, yeah, you get frustrated, but then you have to kind of get back into your zone of, okay, it's behind me, and now I have to make the next pitch. And uh, for the most part, I really did a good job of that. And, and it frustrates you, but you have to bear down. You know, you have to really dig in deep and get that final out, the final two outs, whatever you need. And, and it makes you focus in a little bit more. So, This is your third start of the season here tonight. You have wins in two of them. You fell in one of them, your last start, which we just talked about against Lakeshore on, on July 4th. And for people who maybe look at the stat sheet from this past spring at Indiana State, you only had one start and you had a majority of your appearances out of the bullpen in Indiana State. Is this something that you want to try to continue doing as you enter uh, the fall semester at Indiana State and, and go into the spring season as be a starting pitcher? Yeah, it's my mindset right now. Um, and it was my mindset back at school, and, and they felt that they I would fare better as a closer and the team would fare better. Uh, we did have the starting pitching to, to compete and leave me as a closer. So um, that's the way it was at school, and now we have three openings as starters. Three of our four spots are open, and it's just one of those things that, yeah, I, that's my mentality right now is I want to be back to the starting role, and, and I'm feeling comfortable. The first start was a little uh, it was a little rough. It wasn't great, but it did, it did do the job, and the second one was really bad. But, you know, it's one of those things I'm starting to get more comfortable with it, and, uh, you know, I just want to keep this up and keep this going. So... That's what I'm looking at right now. And talking about being a closer, well, the closing of this game with Matt Lynch and Tony Vaca struggling with their control a little bit. We're getting a little nervous in there in the dugout that uh, you guys possibly could lose the lead uh, just like that in the top of the ninth, or is that something where you have belief in Lynch and Vaca to do their jobs? Oh, I have, I have total belief in both of those guys to do their jobs. Uh, I'll be honest, Doug, I've, I've been in that situation <laughs> before where you can't find a strike in the ninth inning, and... It's rough. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you. But, you know, 
just as pitchers, we just kind of try to fall back and get get in a good rhythm, start throwing strike one, and and then see where it goes. But uh, Tony's Tony's had a lot of jams this year, and he's been getting out of them. So no, I wasn't worried at all. We had it in the bag. <laughs> well, Claire, you guys are now two and four, and you face the Wisconsin Woodchucks these next two days tomorrow here at Carson Park at home at 6:35 p.m. and is there anything that you relay from working with Will Fannis to maybe Matt Trowbridge, who, who's starting tomorrow, with how Will maybe calls a game or how he calls you tonight? Is that something where maybe the three of you will get together, or is that something that Matt and Will will just kind of figure out? Oh, uh, it's Matt and Will. I mean, you said it's a different team, correct? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. it's the Woodchucks tomorrow. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's just kind of a different lineup, but... I'll be honest, the only key uh, for, for him is just getting ahead. You know, that's the secret to pitching. And uh, if Matt can do that, then he'll be successful. Um, and, and he's been successful this year, so we definitely have total faith in him. Hopefully we can get our second in a row. I know it's been a long time <laughs> since that, but we finally got our first series. So, I mean, we're on the right track. I won't tell you the last time it was two in a row. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Devin, I want to thank you here for, for joining me on air. And go, uh, go rest up, and congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks a lot, Doug.